President Yoon Suk Yeol hosted his first official press conference earlier on this Wednesday morning to mark his first 100 days in office. For details on that event, I have our presidential office correspondent Yoon Jung Min standing by live on the line. Jung Min, do fill us in. Hey there, Sonny. So a number of topics discussed during the 15-minute long press conference. But first, the president stressed his commitment to the Korean people amid his unusually low job ratings. Listen in. 국정을 운영하는 데 있어 가장 중요한 것은 첫째도 국민의 뜻이고 둘째도 국민의 뜻입니다. 국민의 숨소리 하나 놓치지 않고 한치도 국민의 뜻에 벗어나지 않도록 그 뜻을 잘 받들겠습니다. 저부터 앞으로 더욱 분골 쇄신하겠습니다. Regarding his administration's audacious initiative for North Korean denuclearization unveiled during his Liberation Day speech earlier this week, President Yoon acknowledged the need for dialogue and added he does not seek a regime change by power in North Korea. Yoon's audacious initiative includes a number of measures aimed at improving North Korean people's livelihoods and stages in exchange for North Korea's practical steps towards denuclearization. He said he's also willing to help restore Washington Pyongyang relationship if the North Korean regime abandons its nuclear development program. When it comes to bilateral ties with Japan, the South Korean leader reiterated his strong will to swiftly improve the relations, saying the authorities are looking into ways to compensate Korean victims of Japan's use of wartime forced labor while avoiding Japan's sovereignty issues as claimed by the Japanese government. That's all from me at the hour, and I will bring more updates later on. Sunny, 